Hello, this is Craig from bitsbox.co.uk and this is a size comparison of the Warlord Titans and the Imperial Knights from the Adeptus Titanicus box. So as you can see I've got one of the Knights here and he's sort of half painted. And I've got two of the Warlord Titans from the Grandmaster Edition. And the reason I've got two is because and the legs are quite poseable. So one sort of hunched over, sort of walking forward and one is standing more upright. So the sizes are slightly different. As you can see, I haven't got the guns on this one yet, I just haven't finished building them. But these ones are on and they are actually fully mag magnetised. Which is really cool. Same with the shoulder weapons as well. And so I'm having one magnetised and then one just standard. And yeah, then we've got a little knight who I've been going for like a similar scheme from my larger knights. Which is a little trickier on such a small scale. And how small? Well, let's, let's start comparison. Some comparisons with him and some regular Citadel miniatures. So, first thing I'm going to do is just get a regular little Space Marine. So there we go, there's our Space Marine. He's on a 25mm base, not a 32. So these come on the 40mm Terminator size bases, or Stormcast size bases. And see, they are taller than a regular Space Marine. I bring in a Prime Maris. You can see they're very similar in height to a Primaris Space Marine. So they are really diddy and really cute and there's so much detail on them. You can see there's a lot of detail there for something so small. So I really, really do like these. So let's move our little Marines out of the way. Let's bring in a Stormcast Eternal and you can see again, sort of similar height. So if you ever wondered um, like the size difference between like the Primaris Marine and a Stormcast as well, then you sort of get that here as well. And just for good measure, I also have an Iron Jaw Brute, who is on the same size base also. So yeah, really cool, really diddy, really cute. I really like them, and to compare them to their 40k counterpart. Let's bring one in. And we'll come back a little bit. And you can see that is the size difference between a regular Imperial Knight and an Adeptus Titanicus one. Okay. So, how do the Warlord Titans compare to an Imperial Knight? Well, let's bring our little hunched over guy. They are a lot smaller, well, quite considerably smaller as well. They are of course cheaper in price, I do think they're a little bit overpriced for their size compared to an Imperial Knight, although they do have a lot of detail on them. The base is similar to like a flyer base I think, like sort of like a Valkyrie base, it might be slightly smaller, I'm not 100% on that. I don't have any about to compare. And we just get our sort of taller knight in, and you can see, like, he's still obviously considerably smaller, but he comes up to sort of shoulder pads of an Imperial Knight. So, as always, oh, he's fallen off his base. Um, <laughs> he's not actually glued to his base, and his um, pod at the top is magnetized. So let's let's move him, let's take him off his base and move him over. I um, also want to compare one of the little Amiga Knights as well to these. So as you can see these are much bigger than the Amagers. Just see them there, so they are bigger than them, but not massively bigger. But big enough. So yeah, um, as always I have a few other miniatures that I try to compare, as I like showing off some of the miniatures and sort of see them all together. So we have a Redemptor Dreadnought, so considerably a lot larger than a Redemptor. Um, interestingly as well, um, if we just get the Amager Knight in as well, they are also a lot bigger. I think I may have done a size comparison for these, I can't remember now. But they're on a larger base as well. So they're a pretty decent size. So next up, I'm going to bring in Marathi. Stand there next to 
tree. Might of her wings just get in the way. So again, she's just slightly taller than one of these warlords. And next up, I've got a great unclean one. Who actually sort of shorter, and his sword obviously gives him that extra height. So these do stand higher than a great unclean one, as you can see there. Such a fantastic miniature, I love the great unclean one. And then lastly, as I like to bring her in on all size comparison videos, is a Lariel, because she is just badass. And yeah, of course she is a lot taller than these. So these are actually um, taller than the beetle, but with a Lariel on top, it adds so much height to her. And of course mine is slightly raised on the base as well, so she would be a little bit lower, but... Yeah, so that is how they, s they stand. So yeah, um, that is just a quick little size comparison of these. I don't have any other miniatures on hand. Um, I will put just a regular sort of Stormcast and the Space Marine down and the other night. Just as we do our little intro, smooth you out of the way, Marathi. Or do our outro, sorry. So yeah, and that's sort of how they stand um, as their size. So pretty decent size. Um, it'd be really interesting to see the Reavers and the Warhounds. I'll probably do a video on them. We'll get all the knights together and show them off and how they compare with each other. Um, I'd love to have an actual 40k Warlord Titan to do a video like this on one day. We can but dream. But yeah, if you see how much taller these are than the Imperial Knight, then it just yeah, it really gives you a sense of how big the 40k Warlord is. I think it's a good 4 feet, I think. so. Yeah. So I hope this video has been useful for some of you, if you've just been curious about the size of these. Um, I actually thought these were slightly smaller than what I was expecting, um, I thought they'd been a little bit closer to the Imperial Knight size. But for their price, mm, I think they're just a, a little bit too small. I think they could have been a little bit cheaper. But, they're still lovely. Really nice to put together, if you've been debating on buying one I certainly do recommend it. They're a lovely kit to put together, lots of lovely detail on them and I really look forward to painting them. I've got a couple of good schemes in mind and um, you can you can find pictures of them on our Instagram feed and Facebook page um, in the future. The links to them are down below and yeah all I left to say is thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again in the next video. If you enjoyed this video then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.